Hello everyone and welcome back to Master Data Services. It's a while that I haven't actually um, created any videos. So I thought maybe we just proceed because I can see a lot of uh, response from, from the community and people are willing to, to know more about the Master Data Services. So uh, I thought it would be uh, good to have a couple of additional tutorials to cover those aspects, which we haven't covered in, in, the, uh, in, the, in the previous video. So today what we're gonna do, obviously we are creating the master data services and we are creating all these fancy models. So bear in mind that normally we work in the dev environment and in the development environment, we create all these uh, these models uh, which contain our uh, standard list of value uh, which can be master data or it can be reference data now once the uh, the solution has been created and it is ready to release obviously we need to find some way that we can we can package our our model from from dev or we can release it or Flip side, if we want to use uh, uh, a package which is already running in the production, and we want to use it uh, as a reference in the dev environment, so in, uh, you know, instead of connecting to the to the production environment, uh, we can we can deploy the 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 model in the in the uh, in the development environment, which will help us obviously uh, to use the similar list of values and test the the new scenarios which were given by the business. So in order to uh, deploy the package, we first need to create the package and we want to create a package in a way that what, uh, if it has maybe hundreds of uh, objects, all objects will come uh, uh, in, 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 their, in their original structure, like there is no intervention. So I have a good news for, for you guys that we have a, a command available from Microsoft that can help you to create these packages without a uh, lot of efforts. And the best part, these packages create in a single file and we can deploy it through the script or we can you know deploy it uh, manually uh, or we can even automate the whole solution which is really perfect so there's no human intervention even you know we can we can create a job that can uh, run and create this package in either direction whether dev or production uh, based on the approval or based on the uh, confirmation by uh, by the respective uh, owners right so let me first show you uh, which uh, tool you are going to use to create the 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 master data services package uh, the tool itself is locating within the sql server directory so it can be different uh, from system to system but i'm going to actually show you a, 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 a tip so you can locate it quickly so once you come into your C drive, uh, normally if you have installed your Microsoft SQL Server on a different uh, drive, just go there, open the program file and locate the SQL Server folder. Now in this SQL Server folder, you can see we have the folder by service name, but we also have the, uh, the folder by version name. So in this machine, I'm using SQL Server 2019. So I can imagine that my uh, binaries are going to be in 150, which is obviously reflecting the uh, uh, and what, uh, the SQL Server 19. Let me just open it up and you can see we have a folder called master data services. Now you need to locate this folder on, the, on your machine and then go into the configuration folder. Once we get into the configuration folder, uh, half of our job is done because we can locate the, the uh, exe file or the the executable which is going to help us to to create that package uh, that we can either deploy into production or we can deploy into development environment now let me just copy that uh, path and you can see I've already copied it into my PowerShell. Now that's completely your choice. You can use PowerShell and you can use the, the, the uh, command line, which is DOS, uh, Microsoft support, both of them. We have the commands available in, in both sides, but because PowerShell is now uh, more like a universal scripting language for Windows-based system. So I would prefer PowerShell. So you can see I've already, uh, I'm already in the in the directory, but let me just show you from the demo perspective. For example, if we are on, yeah, if we are on on the on the root level, so I, what I did, I just copied and I'm going to paste the the path. And because you can see there are spaces in the path, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put it in the 
double quotes and let me enter now we are in the directory just to show you the the uh, the file so you can see the file is located uh, in the in the uh, in the uh, current parts and this i can you know do a better i think So that's not. Let me switch how DIR. Let's see. Yeah, DIR. And DIR. I do believe it was DIR minus. Anyway, I was just trying to 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 display by width, code, but somehow it is not liking uh, the the command. Let me see if I can. Uh, going to be yeah, I think DIR has a different meaning in it. Yeah. So just bear with me. I'm just going to quickly check. Yes. So I'll pause it. Oh, so for somehow it is not running on. Just as a side note, let me just see if I. I'm just going to, yeah. yeah. There we go. Okay, so there is a problem, uh, a good finding that uh, DIR uh, uh, switches doesn't work in the in the PowerShell. So because PowerShell uh, 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 took a lot of uh, command from uh, Linux terminal, so I thought it also fully supporting the 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 uh, the DOS command. And, and if you guys are quite old like me, so you have already worked in the in the DOS environment. So you can see some of the DOS commands they are working, but their switches are not working, uh, which is shame. But anyway, so that that's something uh, is a supplement to this video that we identify. So let me just clear. We are fine. Uh, the only thing uh, I need to know that yeah, my MDS model deploy uh, file is there. Now, how we are going to, to uh, deploy any package? First, we need to create the package because obviously we need the package either from the production environment or from the dev environment. So we can deploy them into a, into a different environment. So what we're gonna do, uh, we need a couple of things before we can proceed with our deployment. And let me just show you. Let me just remove these two. Okay. And now I'm going to, so I've already created a folder where I'm going to uh, place my packages. Now, somehow, because I have increased the size of the form, so that's one of the reasons why. So MDS model, so you can see the syntax is quite similar to model deploy, now it will. So you can type some part of the name and press tab and it will bring the exe. So if you can look at the, the, the exe type, it is following the syntax of the, the, the Linux uh, executable, the way we uh, execute the, the, uh, the files on, on Linux, right? Which is very similar, but obviously we have Windows. So we, uh, we are going to execute the uh, executable file. So that, that's the file. And the very first command that we are going to use, create package. That's the command uh, or that, that's the plugin uh, of MDS uh, model deploy, which tells the MDS model deploy that we are intending to create a package now. 
obviously the very first thing I'm going to uh, give a name to my package and let me just refresh your brain with, with the package. So I already have analytical MDS package and I only have one version of it. We can create multiple versions, but at this stage, I only have one version. So now create package is, uh, I'm just going to now mention the model. So the model uh, switch is uh, requiring the model name. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm creating the, the package for my model. So I'm going to specify the model name, which is analytical uh, MDS. The next thing we need is the service. Uh, I think I need to just come back to this command. Let me just show you one more thing. Sorry about that. Run and admin. Let me open a new, new session because I want to show you something. Yeah. That's very bad. Yeah, I think now it's good. So I just opened another session because I want to uh, show you, uh, you need the uh, service name which is uh, running behind MDS because MDS is using the service oriented architecture. If you don't understand, you don't need to. Just remember that you need the service name. Now, how we are going to get the service name? We are going to run the same command model MDS. Sorry, I'm putting MDS model deploy. If I just press, you know. Something is not right. Yeah, I think now it's good. Yeah, now it's good. And I'm going to use the, the other uh, uh, module called list services. What it does, there you guys, some either keys has been pressed. I think I have increased the font size. That's one. I think it would be better now. MDS, yeah. Model deploy, yeah. And now I'm going to display all the services, which is respective to my uh, MDS service and, uh, and running on my machine. Yeah. So now you can see. It is returning me only one service name because uh, don't be confused with MDS one with MDS. If you can see above, it is showing the, the, the information header. So the very first thing is the service name. And then the second one is the website because like I mentioned, uh, MDS is the service uh, is following the service oriented architecture. So the first thing is referring to that service that we can use to interact with MDS. And obviously the second one is the MDS, uh, the actual MDS, if you remember that we have seen in the, in the deployment uh, uh, video. If you don't remember, I'm gonna put the deployment link in the description. Please watch that video that will explain the whole uh, process to deploy MBS on, on SQL uh, on Windows Server uh, from end to end. Okay, now we know that our uh, service name is MBS1. So I'm going to note it down and I'll go back to my create package window. So now I have my model name. So I'm now going to mention service, which is MBS1. And then I need a couple of more things. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to create the skeleton first. So this uh, package, it's not going to have any data, right? So that's why we don't need to mention any version because normally we create the version once the structure and data has been changed, but considering we only have one version, which is default. So we don't need to mention uh, the, 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 the version uh, while we are creating the, the package. Now, the uh, remaining, information that uh, we need to provide, obviously the package name, where we want to create that package and what should be package name. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy that path because I've already created a folder on my machine. You can create on any location. Maybe you can even create on, on the network location, uh, uh, whatever the, the, the architecture you are following. And I'm going to give it a name, analytical dev 
without data. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create the, uh, the structure only because sometimes our data is so sensitive that we cannot expose it into the into the data. But because we need to test the, the script, so that's why we just need the similar structure. So at least our test case or the, the new extension that we are building is not going to face uh, issues once we release them in the production environment. So that's why sometimes we just need the, the skeleton. And uh, the very first step which we are going to do, we are just going to create this skeleton uh, uh, through through the create package command. Now it's all good. So it's going to create this uh, package file and you can give it any extension. I would prefer because it's a package. So I'm just going to call it .pkg. All right, so let me see where we miss create package. All right. Like I mentioned, there was some issue. So let me increase the, the size. So MDNs, I think that that's where the issue. Yeah. So we missed the hyphen sign. I believe now it's all good. Yeah, now it is creating the package. So there was a hyphen which is missing from the package switch. Now the package has been created successfully. Let me just show it to you. You can see, awesome. We have the package which is just containing this structure. It's not going to have any data. And in the, in the upcoming video, we're gonna prove it once we deploy this package into, into our model. Now that that's uh, how you can create uh, the 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 package uh, of of your MDS model for for deployment either in the in the dev environment or any other environment for for from the from the development perspective. So in the next video, we're gonna see how we can create the uh, the the package uh, with the uh, with the data. And then we will see how we can deploy it back into, into the uh, server. In our case, we are going to have similar server, but in your case, you can deploy it in the, in the test environment, UAT environment, development environment, or, or uh, you know, staging environment, whatever environments you have. So these uh, way we, we, can, we can go and we can deploy them. And in the last video, we're gonna actually automate the whole thing from end to end. So stay tuned and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.